Hello guys, welcome to episode 5 of Bubbles on the Rise, my West Ham United series on the 0607 database. Today we're playing away at Stamford Bridge against top of the table Chelsea who are showing why Mourinho was one of the best managers in the world at this time. And it's been a little while since I've released a video in this series, so let's catch you up on what happened last time out. We got a 1-1 draw against Reading after I got cocky when we was 1-0 up and tried to get a few more goals. Reading came back with an 88th minute equaliser to rob us of the win that we did very much deserve, but my cockiness, like I said, did cost us. And then after that, I said I was hoping to bring in a few new players in the January transfer window. But the board had other ideas, as despite us having £66 million in the bank, they only gave me a budget of £1.8 million. I tried arguing with the board, but they were having absolutely none of it. So instead, I had to sell a couple players, the biggest deal being for George McCartney to join Blackburn for £1.1 million, which led to this genius question from a journo, asking if I was going to loan McCartney to Blackburn, despite him having just joined them permanently. What the hell? And anyway, away from idiotic journos, Results have been at best mixed. We've played 10 games since the draw versus Reading. We've won 5 of those, lost 3 including being dumped out of the FA Cup in the 4th round by Man United and drawn 2. Which all means that as the table stands before today's game, we're 4th in the table, 12 points behind Chelsea. And in the real life fixture, we only lost this game by a goal to nil, Jeremy scoring a free kick to get the winning goal. This is gonna be a tough one, but surely we can do better in today's game of bubbles on the rise. Let's go and see what the team is looking like for today's game. Here's the team for today's game. We've got Robert Green in goal, Collins, Gabidon and Ferdinand are our back three for today. And then in the wing backs, we've got Koncheski on the left, Tyrone Mears on the right. Nigel Riococa is alongside Hayden Mullins. Mullins is replacing Javier Maserano, who picked up a knock the day before the game. So a little bit disappointing that. But ahead of them two, we've got Yossi Benayoun playing as a track artista just behind our dream team strikers, Dean Aston and Carlos Tevez. Both of them two are on quite a few goals each. Tevez is on 16 for the season. Dean Aston missed a few weeks with injury, but he's still on 11 goals. So them two are doing very, very well. Let's hope they can fire us to a win today against our London rivals. Let's go and get into the dressing room. Oh my gosh, just before we do get into the dressing room, have a look at this Chelsea team. Peter Cech at the height of his powers in goal. John Terry just ahead of him. Ashley Cole on the left. McAlealy in the role that was made for him. And then Michael Ballack alongside Frank Lampard. Robin on the left. The guy who made me fall in love with football, Joe Cole, on the right-hand side. And Andrzej Shevchenko up top. How many goals has he got so far this season? He has got 16. The same amount as Tevez. Ooh. So, hopefully Tevez can outscore him today. Now let's go and get into the dressing room. And let's go and do the team talk. And we've been on a good one lately. Mm, not really much reaction there. And I have faith. I have faith. And yep, here we go. Now we're cooking on gas, people. And so, prediction time. Uh, I've just been told that we are 7-1 to one to win this game. Chelsea are 1-3 to three on to win it, according to the bookies. So I've got no idea what to predict. I'm going to say... You know what? Be confident. You know what? 1-0 us. Come on, you irons. 18 minutes in. First highlight of the game. Robin with a free kick. We head it out of the box. 
goes to Michael Ballack. Can we win it back off to German? No, we can't. Goes to John Terry, who absolutely volleys it into the back of the net. But is it offside? Is it going to count? Is it? I don't think it is. <laughs> what a goal for Terry to score. But thankfully, it doesn't count because he was coming back. But he never hit any like that in his career, did he, boys? And now, 24 minutes in, Rob Green plays the ball out wide to the bald-headed legend, Paul Koncheski. Goes to Ginger Pele, to Anton Ferdinand. Goes into Gabidon now, and Gabidon forward to Rio Coca. Goes out wide, and Tyro Mears is past his man there. He's got a little bit of space. Can he get this into the box? He does. Goes to Benayoun, and Benayoun gives West Ham the lead at the bridge with his seventh of the season. What a very nice header that was. Benayoun making the space for himself. Let's have a look at this again on the replay. Tyrone Mears with a great little assist there. Getting past Ashley Cole, I think it is. And then he crossed it in. And Ben Ayoun made that look easy. Come on, you Irons. 28 minutes in now. Ginger Pele plays the ball long. Jeremy heads it away. Goes to Joe Cole. Back to Jeremy. Into Balak, who's in way too much space there. Is he going to come forward? No, he's not. It goes out wide to Ashley Cole. And I think he's going to cross the ball in. Can we get a block in? No, we don't. And Joe Cole. Oh, I think that's Koncheski, actually. It is. It's Paul Koncheski who scored an own goal. Oh, just as we had the lead against the best team in the country. Oh, let's have a look at this. Ashley Cole with the ball. Ran deep to the byline. Crossed it in. And, well... It was either going to be Koncheski or Joe Cole putting the ball home, wasn't it, boys and girls and people and those of you that like to be called they or them or whoever you are. Oh, one highlight before half-time and Balak's header off the corner goes over the bar. I think we're going to survive till half-time now. Maybe not. Famous last words from bad jokes. Ashley Cole crosses the ball in. Joe Cole's header does go nowhere. But Chelsea have got the ball again. Sevchenko in the box. Into Ashley Cole. His shot is blocked there. And it goes out for a throw in. Please, please let us survive. I think if we survive to half time, we've got half a chance of winning this. But Ashley Cole with the throw in. Sevchenko, Robin, Ashley Cole. Balak right on the edge of the box. He goes for a long shot. Thankfully, that wasn't Lampard going for that one. And there we are. That is the half-time whistle. Chelsea have absolutely dominated this game, haven't they? 16 shots, 2 are 3. But they've only had 5 on target, whereas all of ours have been on target. They've had 66% of the possession. And we've only, of course, had 34%. Let's go into the dressing room. As weird as it is, seeing as how they have dominated, I think we've still got half a chance of nicking something on the counter. So I don't want to change anything just yet. So I'm going to say, do I say you've been unlucky or we owe Chelsea after what happened? You've been unlucky. Ah, ah, ah. Wrong answer. And now let's go assertive again. And let's go with the old Georgie Michael. And... Mm, that hasn't got the strikers any happier. That's a little bit concerning. Maybe because they've not been getting all the, um, what do you call it? All the service that they would like. But okay, let's go into the second half. Come on, West Ham. 53 minutes in, Tyrone Mears has just collected himself a yellow card. And it's going to be Goran Pandev playing for Chelsea. He's crossed the ball in. And it goes to Joe Cole. And what a save there from Green. And Balak has had another shot. And it's hit the post this time and gone out. Oh, 66 minutes into the game. Chelsea have got a free kick. And Carvalho's header thankfully falls into Rob Green's hands. And now can we get a counter-attack going here? Come on, Mr. England's number one. He throws the ball out wide to Koncheski. And he's got quite a bit of space here. Tevez, I think that is, is making a run as well. Can Koncheski find him? Nope, but he plays the ball to Rio Coca. Into Hayden Mullins. Into Benayoun. 
and then out wide. Oh, his pass is intercepted there. It was a poor one. And now it's Chelsea on the counter once again. Goran Pandev absolutely Usain bolting it at our defence. And he's crossed it. Sean White Phillips has had a volley there and that's been saved. And now is the highlight going to carry on? Thankfully not. And now let's get into making some changes. What do we want to do? I think Harewood for Aston. Aston's been very quiet today. So is Tevez, but Tevez has always got that chance to do a bit of magic. And now what else do we do? Do I bring Boyo on for Mullins? No, Mullins had a pretty decent game. And so do I chuck Everington on in place of Koncheski? I think that's what we do. Try and get some crosses coming in from deep. See what Everington can do. Come on, 20 minutes to hold on. I'd be very happy with a draw here. 10 minutes left to go in the game. It's us with the ball. Danny Gabidon goes out wide to Tyrone Mears, who goes back to the Welshman. And now he plays it long, and to nobody in a Claret and Blue shirt, what that pass was about, I don't know. But what I do know is that Pandev has got the ball. His cross has been blocked. Mullins collects it for us and he goes long. But again to nobody in a claret and blue shirt. We just cannot get past this Chelsea defence. And now Sean White Phillips with the ball. He's crossed it in. Mears has absolutely lashed it away. But only to Balak whose shot is saved by Green. Parrying it onto the bar. And we scramble the ball away for the minute. And once again, Sean White Phillips with a cross, Drogba with a header, and Green tips it out over the bar. Look at all them shots Chelsea have had. 32. They have absolutely bossed this game. We would be very lucky to get a draw, but I would be very happy if we did. Oh, my Doss. Doss? What on earth is Doss? I don't know what that is. I'm losing my words. And oh, John Terry. There it is. He's made up for his disallowed goal earlier. Jeremy, who scored against us in the real-life game. And he's assisted this time. And it's John Terry with the header. And Rob Green has made a hash out of catching that. And that, I think, is going to be that for the game. Let's go very attacking. See what we can do. As now Tyrone Mears has the ball for us. But he's only given it away. And now Drogba is on the pitch and he's forward. He's away from our defence here. He's into the box. He's had a shot. And Rob Green, thankfully, with the save. Rolos, that has gone probably as you would expect. Chelsea getting the win. Two goals to one. Paul, Paul Koncheski scoring an own goal to equalise the game up after Benny Yoon had given us the lead. John Terry getting the winner. And it was very, very much deserved. 38 shots to our 7, 21 on target to our 5, 62% of the ball to our 38. So, yeah, didn't really deserve to get anything out of that game. But I'm going to say, unlucky boys. And, yep, yeah, we're going to end the team talk there. And then I'll be back with you in a second to see where we're going to come back for the next episode. After that game, we're still fourth in the league, which is a fantastic result so far. So we've got to be happy with that. And no matter what happens this weekend, we are going to be staying there. So I'm happy with how things are going in the league so far. And let's see what game are we going to come back for. Have I done Liverpool yet this season on camera? I don't think I have. So when have we got Liverpool next? Du, du, du. Uh, we've already played them twice, haven't we? No, we haven't. There you go. There's Liverpool. I'm pretty sure I've already done Arsenal. I have already done Arsenal. I remember doing the intro for the Arsenal game. So, you know what? We're going to come back for that Liverpool game at the end of April. So, guys, if you've enjoyed that video, which I hope you have, please pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content. And if you're a fan of Total Extreme Wrestling 2020, please do subscribe to my new second channel, Mayday Gaming. I'll put the link in the description down below. I'm going to have the first video on that channel out at some point this week, probably Wednesday. So please do subscribe to that channel if you do want to see Total Stream Wrestling stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming for all the news on this channel and the Mayday Gaming channel. 
check out all the other Passion for FM lads. They are all very, very awesome lads doing top quality content. So check them all out. And check out the Passion for FM website as well. That's a very good website run by Esperin, who is an absolute genius when it comes to FM. So please do check him out. And yep, guys, that is all from me for today. I shall see you on Friday on this channel for the Kingsley Walks the Prem series. Bye.